again to my channel today I'm going to show you how to prepare a flavorsome Ghanaian yam pottage in my language we call it a nuhu or a putomputo in Ghana you can prepare it either with yam or with cocoa yam I'm not a big fan of cocoa yam so I'm gonna do it with yam and it's so tasty so if you are interested please keep on watching this video as usual leave me comments share my videos and see you next time let's get right into this recipe to prepare yam potage you need half a yam and this is called puna yam from Ghana you also need some palm oil and the best one I can recommend is zomi palm oil from Ghana you also need some brown powder or shrimp powder or even crayfish powder this is one of the secrets so make sure you have some and I have here one small chopped onion and some momoni momoni is a stinky Ghanaian fish and this is another secret in preparing and put on puto I'll be using some maggi cubes and also some crown cubes we also need some herrings and these ones are the dried ones and I soaked it in water for about 20 minutes to make it softer. So this is how it looks like. I'll be using fresh tomatoes, onion, ginger and two scotch bonnet peppers. So I have here one onion that I cut in four, two scotch bonnet peppers. I have here some ginger so about the size of a thumb and I have here also three medium sized fresh tomato and also two garlic cloves so this is all you need to prepare yam potage or emputomputo and I have here some smoked mackerel dear friends we are now going to peel our yam if you are using cocoa yam also please peel it now so the main thing here is to cut the yam or cocoa yam into small cubes because we are going to cook it in the soup or stew so once you've done that make sure you wash it and this is my yam here and it is nicely washed next we are going to blend our vegetables so add tomato onion garlic cloves ginger and scotch bonnet peppers add just a little bit of water just to make it easy to blend put the lid back on and blend it until very smooth you know some people also use canned tomatoes to prepare yam potage but I think it is always better to use the fresh tomatoes for this recipe. Now heat up some oil in a pan and when the oil is very hot add in the chopped onion. So this is a small onion but also don't forget to add in the momoni which is the stinky Ghanaian fish. It is so stinky but so tasty and it gives flavor in foods you know that's why I say flavorsome yam potage but if you don't have it don't worry you can skip it or use Kobe instead which is another salted Ghanaian fish now stir it and leave it on for about three minutes now remove the momoni don't worry we'll put it back in later on add the blended tomatoes to it stir it and leave it on for about two to three minutes now add about one cup of water to it this is how we are going to cook our yam and stir it you can now add between two to four tablespoons of brown powder it depends on your personal taste if you like it or not but two should be fine I added two in this recipe 
You can also add one small Maggie Q stock to it and also a bit of salt. Now stir it and add the dried herrings that you can find in any African shop. Add the smoked mackerel, stir it, cover it and let it cook for about 10 minutes on a medium heat. After 10 minutes, add the yam cubes or cocoa yam cubes if you used cocoa yam. Give it a good stir and add the momoni back to it. So this is now you add it back to it. Please do not forget. Add one prawn cube stock or maggie cube stock, but I would recommend you to use the prawn one and stir it. Now put the lid back on and let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes, like when the yam is soft like this. So my yam is fully cooked. And in Ghana, you know, we like it a bit mushy. So I'm going to use my potato masher to mash it up. But if you don't want to, please do not mash it. And that's it. My yam potato is ready and I am going to serve it. Guys, if you've never had yam potato or emputomputo, please make sure you try it because it's awesome. It is so nice. Okay, so make sure you do. They also do something similar in Nigeria and I'm yet to try it. I'll try it very soon as well. So this is it, friends. This is my Ghanaian style emputomputo. I hope you like it. And you know me, we are going to taste it and I am going to show you a nice close-up of my Ghanaian emputomputo or enuhu. How do you call it? <laughs> this is it, a nice close-up, nicely mashed with some pieces of yam inside. It is just wonderful. Okay guys, so this was my recipe and I remember it was also one of the requests. So I hope you are happy with this recipe. Um, please leave me comments, share my videos, give me thumbs up. I keep repeating myself, <laughs> right? Um, if you have another way of preparing this wonderful recipe, please leave me a comment down below and I'll be happy to try your recipe. Again, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time for another recipe. If you have any um, suggestions, please also leave it down below. Thank you and bye-bye. God bless you all.